Thank you, Klaus. Mr. President, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, and dear friends, over 20 social entrepreneurs from the Schwab Foundation's network are here with us in Cape Town. The organizations they have created use innovative solutions to address pressing societal problems on issues such as malnutrition, drinking water, housing, employment, health, and more. They stand for hundreds of dedicated and passionate social entrepreneurs who are committed to improve the lives of the people. I encourage you to meet them and learn more about their models. Earlier this year, the Schwab Foundation for Social Entrepreneurship announced the group of social entrepreneurs selected into the network of 2013. Five of these organizations are based in Africa, and it is with great pleasure that I will present their leaders to you now. You will see that they touch several points that have been discussed on the panel today, like infrastructure or mobile technologies. First, I would like to ask Frederick Day, Day from Buffalo Bicycles, Southern Africa. <laughs> Rural Africans experience challenges of daily survival. Limited water, food and fuel, as well as inadequate access to education and health care. With transportation, access to these elements can be greatly enhanced. The Buffalo Bicycle is a robust, purpose-built bicycle designed specifically for African terrain mm. and load requirements. More than 45,000 have been sold to individuals as well as to organizations in Kenya, Tanzania, Uganda and South Africa. Another 70,000 bicycles have been granted through a unique model called Work to Own, where the people are remunerated for their work not with cash, but with a bicycle. Mm. Congratulations. Anki Tuku Songwe, Afros, South Africa. Afros is working in South Africa and in Kenya, capitalizing on the massive mobile revolution in Africa to inform, connect and educate youth. Afros has developed interactive learning applications for mobile phones that teach youth about entrepreneurship and leadership and empower them as citizens to address their country's challenges. Afros has achieved this through mobile games for social change including award-winning Moraba, which addresses violence against women and girls. Another game series is called Haki and is built for Kenyans by Kenyans to promote national cohesion. <laughs> Nejenka Harry, Youth for Technology Foundation, Nigeria. Since 2001, Youth for Technology has worked in several regions of Africa plagued by poverty and unemployment, especially among youth and women. Youth for Technology's academy provides young Africans with life skills and resources to join the economic mainstream. Since inception, 40% of the academy's graduates have been employed by local companies in the organization's partner network, while another 40% have gone on to become self-employed. The Youth for Technology Foundation has impacted the lives of over 1.5 million youth in Nigeria, in Uganda, Cameroon, South Africa and Kenya, and most recently in Colombia. Congratulations. Chuck Slaughter, Living Goods, Uganda. Living Goods seeks to reinvent how the poor access vital goods and services. The organization empowers networks of micro-entrepreneurs who go door to door, teaching families how to improve their health and living conditions while selling life-changing products such as simple treatments for malaria, clean cook stoves and solar lights. By combining the best practices of microfinance, franchising, direct selling and public health, 
Living Goods is created, has created a fully sustainable system to improve health, wealth and productivity of the poor in Uganda. Last but not least, I would like to acknowledge One Acre Fund, also a 2013 awardee that uses an innovative market-based approach to enable poor farmers in East Africa to double farm profits in one planting season. They provide high-quality seeds, financing, weekly farm training, and post-harvest and market support. Its founder, Andrew Yun, was unfortunately not able to be with us today to accept the award, but I'm pleased that board member Tony Kalm is here to present the organization, to represent the organization in the many important discussions about agriculture taking place during the summit. I would like now to, uh, to ask you to congratulate all these wonderful individuals to, who do so much for mankind. So, social entrepreneurs uh, whom we honor today stand for many uh, who are working on the ground to complement what we try to design as policies for the best development of this great continent. This concludes our opening session and I would like to thank the panelists on your behalf again for giving us, I would say, great hope for the future of this country, of this continent. Not only hope, but I think they challenge us all to contribute to this journey which is ahead of all of us. Thank you.